Hello and thank you for joining me today on The Political Conversationalist. My name is Ben Phipps and today we're talking about hate groups, part of our Divisive Issues series. Uh, now a hate group is any group that's defined by an antipathy, hatred, or general dislike of another group of people. And when I think of hate group, I think of like the Ku Klux Klan who was defined by their hatred of African Americans. But according to the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center, there are over 954 hate groups operating in the U.S. Now, what is controversial about these? I mean, everyone knows it's morally wrong to be hateful of someone because of their skin color, because of their religion, their gender, or whatever, gender identity even. We know that's morally wrong. But should these groups be illegal? In fact, two states have tried to classify hate groups as terrorist organizations. That they say that so that they could shut down their gatherings or that they could arrest their leaders and members and therefore prevent future violence. But when legislators make laws, they have to be very forward-thinking and be careful of how a future government could abuse those laws. So let's imagine a, a future in which abortion is still legal and there are still people, it's still controversial, which I believe it will be until it is I mean, even if it became illegal or stayed legal, it would be, it's always going to be a controversial topic. If there's a peaceful group campaigning against abortion, but the government says that abortion is a woman's right, does that mean that group is really a hate group against women and can therefore be a terrorist organization? Or since the federal government recognizes gay marriage now, does that mean every church that doesn't recognize gay marriage does that make them a hate group? Does that make them, therefore, a terrorist organization? They're not being very forward-thinking with their lawmaking. In Germany, for example, we can see a little bit of how when you erode free speech, it can lead to dangerous territory. Uh, in Germany, you can get a prison sentence for hate speech or racism, denying the Holocaust, or using banned symbolism such as the swastika. And that doesn't really sound like the freedom of speech to me. In fact, there were uh, recently there's a controversy over a German television show who made fun of the president of Turkey, Erdogan, and they got massively censored for that. So, how much censorship are we willing to allow? Uh, every freedom comes with a consequence. Everyone. The freedom of religion comes with the consequence that not only you have the freedom of religion to believe in whatever God you want to believe in, but that everyone else also has the freedom of religion to believe in whatever God they want to believe in. The freedom of speech is the exact same way. I am free to speak. I'm free to have these YouTube videos, for example. I'm free to speak however I desire. I'm free to speak as uh, offensively or rudely as I desire. I'm free to speak on any topic I desire. Yet there are also other people who are free to speak however they desire. If they, if they desire just to berate me and cuss me out and do all kinds of things to me, that's their freedom of speech. Now, it's wrong, obviously, to cuss someone out or to be unnecessarily rude to someone, but it shouldn't be illegal. So, once the freedom of speech is chipped away at, it tends to crumble, as it's doing in Germany now. If left unchecked, there's no telling where Germany's free speech will go. I, for one, will always be a staunch defender of free speech. Now, of course, I'm not going to say any of these hate groups are right, because they're not. It's obviously very morally wrong to hate people. And these people are very backward thinking who are in these hate groups. And they definitely need to be, uh, most of them are probably just misled. And some of them are just outright evil. But that doesn't mean that they're illegal. You can't make a belief illegal because as soon as you make a belief illegal, the government could abuse that to make any belief of their choosing illegal. So that's why I believe that hate groups, although horrible, should still be legal. There are many things, for instance, uh, like I said, with cussing people out. If someone wanted to walk up to me on the street or at work today or whatever, and just for no reason call me every curse word that man has ever created in every language, whatever, and scream and cuss about how I'm this, that, and the third, that's their right. Now, is it wrong? I'm, yeah, it's absolutely wrong. It's morally wrong. But legally speaking, they have every right to do that, no matter how offensive it is to me. And legally speaking, I have every right to say it right back or to tell them to have a nice day and go about my business. Free speech is just that, free. And unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on who you are, it has to be free for everyone. That's all I have for today. 
uh, I appreciate you joining me today. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. You can always, if you have a longer question or you'd like to submit a question to be in a future Q&A video, you can always follow uh, the link to my Facebook page down below and email me through there for that. Uh, I appreciate you joining me. Thank you and have a good day. Thanks for watching.